just some science to do today. That's all there is to it. And by science, I mean we're going to play some guitars really loud with a bunch of reverb and stuff. And, and you know, pr prove science. That's what we do here. So check it out. You saw it in the intro. Look at this thing. This is a Squire 40th anniversary. I think it's 40th anniversary. Yes, Jazzmaster. And it is so good. Now, there's a backstory to all this kind of stuff that I'll get to here in a second. But what I do want to say is that this is a sweet Saturday, so that means that we're going to be giving this guitar away to one of you. So I'll go more into detail into that, so that means that this video is sponsored. Sweetwater gave me this guitar to give away to one of you guys. Now I got my Jazz, we got just like a round of Jazz Masters here. Now like I said, I got my Jazz Master a while ago, uh, three, four years ago and instantly became one of my favorite guitars that I owned. So inspiring because it has a different vibe than anything else. Now the issue I ran into is I keep this guitar tuned down a full step. A lot of you ask like, why do we never see the Jazz Master? It's like, well, it's tuned down a full step. So I use it more kind of for like my own stuff that's not on YouTube and because I don't do a lot of down tuning here. And I was like, I really would like to get another Jazz Master, maybe not go the Fender route, but if I could get a Squire that even got like remotely close to the vibe of the Fender, I'm all in. So this is my uh, Squire Jazzmaster that I got for standard tuning or maybe some open tuning stuff that I want to do. But I want to keep the, the Fender one in, it's, it's a setup for full step down. So I don't like messing with it, messing with the action and all that kind of stuff. So this is mine. And I was like, man, you know, we should give one of these away. So that is why we chose this one to give away to you guys. And um, yeah, let's just jump into it and let's hear this thing. So let's get some specs on the one we're giving away. So this one is pretty much exactly the same <laughs> as the other one. Poplar body has the really, really nice and smooth Jazzmaster style tremolo. This is one of the standout things about Jazzmasters. If, if you like tremolos, you like that flutter, these are completely different than your Strat tremolo system. And I know people hate when people call it a tremolo system, but guess what? That's what Leo Fender named it. I get that it's vibrato, but he called it the trim system. So it is what it is. <laughs> Just accept it. Accept it that that's what it's called. Now, uh, like I said, popper body. We have a maple neck with an Indian laurel fretboard on it and block inlays. My Squire Jazzmaster is exactly the same thing. I just went with maple versus maple. So here's where our science is going to come in at. I'm going to give you guys all the tones of this thing. And then here in a little bit, I'll break down the switching if you're curious about that. And we're going to hear them side by side. And we'll be like, hey, does the neck wood make that much of a difference? So let's see if there's any difference between the two.
So how do you win this here fine fiddle? Well, it is super, super simple. All you have to do is use the link down below in the description, enter your email address, and if you win, we will contact you via email. If you are contacted in the comment section at all, that is a scam. Please do not fall for those. There's so many of these scams going on out here. We only use email now. There's no comments telling you you won something, anything like that. So that's it. We'll open worldwide. So pretty dang close, right? I mean, they both just sound good. I like this one a little bit better. It has an unfinished neck on it. And this one does have a finished neck, but it doesn't feel, it's not like a thick, you know, kind of like poly or anything on there. So I think you can wear through that or sand it down if you want to pretty quickly. But overall, just amazing guitars. What a bang for your buck. Uh, again, you know, I, I gotta stop sleeping on Squire and Epiphone. You guys are always telling me about them. I'm a believer that Firebird blew me away. These things are also just so, so good. So if you're wanting something totally different from your Strat and Tele, Jazzmaster, I'm telling you, it's been one of the most inspiring guitars that I've gotten in the past few years. One quick Jazzmaster thing that I see people get confused about is what are these switches up here and what's all this stuff? So it's really, really simple actually. This control, when this is in the down position, these controls are activated. So I can go from my bridge pickup, I control my volume, my tone, middle position, neck. When I switch this to the up position, it bypasses all of this stuff. These controls no longer work. I'm only using my neck pickup and this is my volume and then, you see, and then this is my tone. So this is really handy because you can have multiple, you know, neck pickup sounds at the same time if you want to just by switching this back and forth. So that's what those controls do. So I think that's gonna be it. So if you guys would, check those links down below. Huge shout out and thank you to Sweetwater as always. They do such a great job of letting us give away so many guitars back into the community. It really does mean a lot. And uh, yo, we're gonna end it bluesy. Uh, Jazz Master Super Reverb V A minor style. The amp was not turned on.